Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about intrusive thoughts. Now, if you guys don't know what intrusive thoughts is, or if you do, but just want to have some more info about it, they're basically, in my, in what I think, they're just thoughts in the back of your head. You just think about wanting to do something, but you don't actually act on what you're thinking. Kind of like the very dark crevices of your thoughts that you have in the back of your head. To me, what I think of in intrusive thoughts, I think of them as like the devil on your shoulder. You know, in cartoons, they would have like a little angel or a devil on their shoulder. And then you've got that little devil whispering in your ear saying, hey, hey you, I think you should be doing this. But then the angel on your sh other shoulder would be like, no, don't do it, don't do it. You could, you could, you could, get in trouble, you could get fired, you could get, have some, your relationship could be get scrambled, blah, 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 and they're just screaming. They're just screaming at each other, screaming at me. I'm just in the middle of the devil and angels screaming at each other. It's like me being the middle child of the family. If you guys don't know, I am a middle child in my family. I'm basically in the middle of everybody's drama. Everybody's screaming. I'm just in the middle of it. It's all this bickering, all this da 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 and I'm like, oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up, because honestly, my intrusive thoughts, I'm afraid of my intrusive thoughts. I, intru my intrusive thoughts can be more scary when I'm working with kids, especially with kids with disabilities. Now, I get it, kids with disabilities are pretty much treated differently than other kids, kids that you usually think about. But when I'm working with kids, like with autism, Down syndrome, and an autistic person myself, could you imagine an autistic person coming into contact with another autistic person? You, you need to realize that autism isn't the same for everybody. There's a spectrum between it. If I clash with another autistic kid, it's going to be different. So when I first headed to work, when on my first day at work and I interacted with these kids, some of these kids are nonverbal autistic when I'm working with. And I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. But then you got some of the autistic, oh, some of the other kids, because there's a there's bound to be happening at some point, whether if you're at work or at home. There's always that one person or that very few people, if you're working with kids, if you're working with your coworkers, there's always that one person that can get on your nerves and your intrusive thoughts start to go haywire in your mind, thinking, hey, you should do da 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 but the angel on your shoulder is like, uh-uh, don't do it, because if you do it, you could ruin your whole mental state, because I never in my life would act on my intrusive thoughts at work. I would be thinking so much shit that I want to do at work, but I don't do it. I don't do it. My mentality is that strong. That's why they're called intrusive thoughts for a reason. They're just thoughts. It's not like you're going to act on them. But if you're that type of person that is willing to act on those thoughts, you might need to be checked into a mental hospital because if you are willing to listen to those intrusive thoughts... That's a bit of a problem for you, not for me, but for you. You need to get that situated. If you think of your, your intrusive thoughts and do da, da 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 some people are very different with their mentality, whether if they have autism, whether if they have OCD, whether if they have depression or any other type of whatever. You could be a normal person and still have intrusive thoughts. But what is normal, to be exact? There's a lot of people saying that, oh, I'm normal. Are you, though? <laughs> That's the question, though. But dividing between intrusive thoughts and normality. Honestly, I don't know the difference. I feel like there's no such thing as normal. But when it comes to in your intrusive thoughts... All that's left is for you to decide whether if you want to act on them or not. But your mentality, it's how strong your mentality is. You just got to not listen to that devil on your shoulder and just focus on what you're doing. You got to be more mindful about yourself. You got to be mindful about yourself, the people around you, because you never know what could happen. I mean, I'm not a fortune teller. 
Nobody is a fortune teller. We can't predict what we're going to be doing in the next five years. Like they, like you have an interview and they, and they ask you, what are your future plans for the next five years? How do I fucking know? I don't. I really don't. And could you imagine if we lived in a world where everybody ran on their intrusive thoughts? The world is already messed up as it is. But if we had a universe, if we existed in a universe where everybody um, just listened to, to their intrusive thoughts, no one is safe. Anybody in this world could get canceled. Cancel culture wouldn't even exist with our intrusive thoughts because anything goes with our intrusive thoughts. No one is safe. No one, everybody would just get obliterated or something. If aliens came down on this world and looked looked at us um, and be like, ugh, should we conquer this world? Because I feel like they're already messing up their world to begin to from the start. And then meow, the aliens would leave. I don't know. I'm just getting sidetracked. I just like to talk about random shit. So anyway, about if you have any intrusive thoughts that you think about, that you think about acting on, but you don't do it, let me know in the comments below because I'm quite intrigued. Because everybody's got their own different intrusive thoughts. The best thing you can do to see if you are willing to listen to it or not. Because if you don't listen to it, you got strong will. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.